Hello and welcome everyone, it is Mithraval, also known as the Power to Duelist, back for you with another deck profile. And with, you know, Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge releasing tomorrow, I felt like it was an appropriate time to finally talk about these dice-based cards we are getting in that set, as most of those are very interesting in Morphtronics. So let's take a look at those first and then run over the deck list real quick. We are starting, of course, with the field spell here called Dice Dungeon. This field spell, when activated, allows you to add a copy of Dimension Dice from your deck to your hand, and at the start of the battle phase, you can activate this effect. Each player rolls a dice, and then, depending on the result, they apply one of the following effects on all monsters they control. Uh, they either lose a thousand attack if they roll a one, if they roll a two they gain a thousand attack, if they roll a three they lose 500 attack, if they roll a four they gain 500 attack, if they roll a five they half their attack, and if they roll a six they double their attack. Um, so definitely has some fun shenanigans there, but the main thing you are playing this for is to add a copy of Dimension Dice from your deck to your hand. A normal spell card that allows you, if you control a card with an effect that requires a die roll, to tribute one monster you control and special summon a monster with an effect that requires a die roll from your hand or deck. This, of course, has some very powerful implications in Morphtronics, especially considering that cell phone, smartphone, and telephone all, con all require a die for their effect to work, and tributing off a cell phone for a telephone is a pretty powerful interaction, if I might add that. So. Let's quickly run on the deck list. We are, of course, starting with three copies of Morphtronic Cell Phone to be able to, you know, summon those Morphtronics from the deck by revealing uh, the cards from the top of our deck, depending on the result of a die roll while this guy is in attack position. Moving on to Morphtronic Smartphone. Smartphone is a special summonable level one tuner that you have that you have to first special summon from your hand by banishing a Morphtronic monster from your graveyard. And in the attack position, he works very similar to Cellphone. As you roll a die, reveal cards from the top of your deck, but you're able to add an excavated Morphtronic card from those to the top of your deck, which is able to find you those powerful extenders like Converter and Repair Unit. Then, the infamous new guy, the loopy boy Morphtronic Telephone himself. While in attack position, you can roll a six at a die. And then gain life points equal to the result times 100 and special summon a Morphtronic monster from your graveyard with a level equal to or lower than the result, which, you know, allows you to, since you can't roll lower than a 1, always summon back a level 1, which is pretty powerful and lends for some sick combos. Then we have three copies of Morphtronic Remote and for some targeted searching, because while in attack position, you uh, uh, remote and allows you to target a Morphtronic in your graveyard, banish the target and add a Morphtronic from your deck to the hand with the same level as that target. Pretty nice to cycle through some level 1s to get maybe a smartphone or a telephone for a follow-up into your grip. Three copies of Morphtronic Scopin are the next Morphtronic up in our lineup. Uh, while in attack position, this allows you to once per turn special summon a level 4 Morphtronic from your hand, but it gets popped in the end phase. Not a big deal, since in most cases you will be using that for a Synchro play. And while in defense position, this is treated as a level 4, which is pretty neat, especially if you are aiming to make TG Hyper Librarian, which I think is a pretty neat card in a build centered around Dimension Dice. Playing one copy of Motronic Staple, this could realistically be any level 4 Motronic uh, you would like to run here. Um, Staple and Boombox offer the advantage of being Earth, so you are more easily able to make Maturia Beast with those. Uh, Videon has some equip synergies, um, Radeon is just a decent normal summon if you're looking for that and Slingen allows you to get like some spot removal in which is fairly decent. Um, really doesn't make a huge difference I think which one to play here, um, this one really comes down to preference. <clears throat> Then we are playing three copies of Gadget Gamer. If this is normal summon, you add a level one machine from your deck to your hand. And you can also tribute this to special summon a Morphtronic monster from your hand. And then special summon a Gadget Hauler from hand or deck. Not only does this grab you basically uh, any of the three fonts, be it cell phone, smartphone or telephone. In most cases, the uh, latter one as uh, Gadget Gamer basically turns into a one card power to dragon by summoning the uh, high level Gadget Hauler from your hand or deck which with a level one tuner makes power to it. Still playing a copy of Gizmek Naganaki, um, just a lone fire into cell phone. I do like additional consistency, and Naganaki is a pretty cool card, but this I feel like is the 40th card that could be pretty much anything you like. A uh, copy of one for one, definitely mandatory, as that is a, also a pretty good way to get to your level ones, especially without using your normal summon. Three copies of Junk Box as a powerful archetypal reborn. Three copies of Machine Duplication as one of those VM cards that are just waiting to be broken. A copy of Monster Reborn for some generic revival and a copy of Morphtronic. Uh, three copies of Morphtronic Converter. 
for a powerful archetypal extender. This allows you to target a machine you control and then apply one of the following effects depending on the battle position. If the target was an attack, you special summon a Morphtronic from your deck with a different name than your target and place the target on top of your deck. If it was in defense, the change the target to attack and then you can special summon a level 4 lower machine from your hand. Very sick, very sick. A caught by the grave against those pesky hand traps and three copies of Morphtronic Repair Unit, which is basically an archetypal premature burial, but it requires you to discard a Morphtronic from your hand to the graveyard. Jumping into the extra deck, we have the big Synchro Boss himself shooting Quasar Dragon. This is just like, I guess, the biggest payoff if you really want to like commit for a Hyper Librarian line. Um, just a big bad Omni Negate if you want to play the Shooting Star Dragon. I think there will definitely be a possibility to find a space for that if you cut like the Stardust Charge Warrior, I think. Um, a copy of Crystal Wings Synchro Dragon to have an easy to make Monster Negate, a Power to Dragon here to search as our repair unit, a Dawn Dragster as a spell or trap negate, a Stardust Charge Warrior to have like another Synchro to make that also draws you a card, which is pretty neat, a TG Hyper Librarian to draw you even more cards. Um, because the nice part about Dimension Dice just is that it is not once per turn, so drawing into these allows you to just extend and extend and extend even further beyond, uh, which is pretty damn nice. A Naturia Beast for some continuous spell negation, a copy of Super Heavy Samurai Musashi to add back a machine from the graveyard. Uh, mostly good for follow-up plays, but <clears throat> even just uh, on your turn, this could be like pretty handy to get Aim of Tronic back into your grip to have like a discard for repair unit. Um, but keep in mind, if you have a spell or trapping graveyard while you are resolving this guy, you are not able to summon monsters with that name or activate the effects of monsters with that name for the rest of this turn. Earphone here as an easy to make level 4 to bridge into Net Beast for the most part and two copies of Formula Synchron because drawing cards is funny. For the very slim link lineup, we are playing a copy of Apollos above the Goddess for like another end board piece, a copy of Platinum Gadget for some powerful extension, an IP Mask Arena for some, you know, a good link to just to make, um, and a copy of Link Rebo to get level 1s into the graveyard and maybe turn a telephone into a different name for an Apollosa. In terms of like card options, you do have quite a lot, which is I think the beauty of Mortronic builds nowadays. Um, you can of course choose to play more dice dungeons, uh, play terraforming and generally more copies if you are looking for that. Uh, I don't think it is all that necessary because Dimension Dice is a pretty good card already on its own. Um, and in most cases you can draw into it off the Librarian, but if you choose not to commit for the Librarian, this might definitely be an option. Um, if you find the space for three equipped spells, um, Power to Braver Dragon is still an incredibly sick card. Um, I just love this guy. Um, having another in-archetype negate at your disposal that can be very highly protected or just get big is very nice. Um, here's a small array of equipped spells, be it Metal Silver Armor wrapped in a Supreme Magic Blade for some targeting protection. Uh, Life Extreme as a small synergy that also allows you to turn your Braver into a quick effect pop. Um, or just United We Stand for the big numbers advantage. For some other like generic Synchro bosses you can make in the deck, Cosmic Blazer Dragon has overall kind of replaced Quasar in terms of like the big, the biggest Synchro boss to make. Um, but I think Quasar is still like just cooler for, you know, being Quasar Dragon, I guess. There's a legacy behind it and uh, that's what I like. But Cosmic Blazer is uh, definitely better in a lot of cases. Baron the Floor is also a card. Let's leave it at that. Uh, Satellite Warrior, another pretty sick big Synchro to make in this deck. And Borrowload Savage Dragon is in a similar spot. Um, what you can also definitely do is play more links. I think especially with Telephone, you do have a very, very great access to the uh, Link Toolbox uh, Underworld Goddess of the Closed World, here being a personal favorite of mine for no particular reason. But even, you know, generic links like Access Code Talker to close out games or Nightmare Unicorn and Nightmare Phoenix for some additional utility are just very nice to take advantage of. Um, in general, a pretty standard Synchro spam list, um, but, you know, with the addition of Dice Dungeon and Dimension Dice. And with that, I think we will look at a sample combo to kind of showcase what those cards allow you to do. And with that, we are looking at a pretty sick grip. Uh, having found both Dimension Dice and the copy of Dice Dungeon will definitely allow us to extend a good bit into this. So 
Uh, let's get right at it by normal summoning a copy of Gadget Gamer to grab us a copy of Cellphone. I do get a bit greedy here and summon the Cellphone instead of the Telephone here because I figured I have a Dimension Dice in hand, so I am able to pretty well extend past that point. Never punished though, I do find a copy of Telephone off the top uh, to get back my Cellphone here, triggering that effect for a 2 and summoning a remote note from the deck. I do commit for a power to dragon here to grab me that repair unit I mentioned earlier, and I will use that swiftly to summon a telephone onto my field, resolving the effect, never punished, getting that statement out of my grave. Um, going for a remote here after making crystal wing to grab myself a copy of smartphone, and that what you just saw is the interaction I was talking about previously. Attributing off a copy of cell phone for a telephone is just incredibly powerful. So if you have spent a, uh, a cell phone effect in this deck, you are just able to easily get that telephone to reuse the cell phone. But uh, similar things apply for telephone as well. You just see me here kind of finishing off this combo uh, using the uh, Link Rebo and the three bodies I had on the bot to make it big. Appalosa uh, trying to fish for maybe another like remote nor scope in here. Um, since, you know, that would get me into Naturia Beast, but I don't find it. So I choose to, you know, take the Linkoribo, put it where the cell phone was, and end the turn here. Uh, Appalosa, Crystal Wing, and FA Dawn Dragster basically four monster negates, a monster negate, and a spell or trap negate definitely pose an imposing threat, especially considering that we do still have a pretty good amount of gas on the follow up. Um, definitely less gas without a big link closer, um, but I do believe that uh, this kind of showcases a good bit of what makes these dice card great, especially dimension, dimension dice, as it is a not once per turn extender that allows you to easily forego a lot of the like things that you know make Moftronics good. Um, you are working with a lot of soft ones per turn clauses, so you know you can easily work around those with the card, which is pretty damn great. But I think we will get into my final thoughts when we have the deck list in front of us again. Overall, what is there really to say? These cards are pretty damn good, if I uh, do say so myself. Um, I would, uh, as you know, I started going on about uh, at the end of the replay, uh, definitely the biggest synergy these have is uh, between, you know, going uh, tribute off a cell phone, summon a telephone, telephone effect, summon the cell phone back, and then, you know, get back to summoning Moftronics from the deck, but also just tributing off a telephone for another telephone gets you already into that telephone loop that a lot of re really heavily link spam based lists are very, very, very dependent on. And increasing the consistency on that line uh, definitely has a lot of value for especially link spam based builds. Um, as you know, Dun Dimension Dice is re fairly con a, a fairly consistent card. Um, if you're maxing out on dice dungeons, if you're playing terraforming, you can run essentially seven copies of this. Um, and, you know, between Gadget Gamer, Telephone, 141, one, and even Gizmak Naganaki, Telephone is more accessible than ever. Um, so the Link Spam variant definitely gets, like, a lot out of this card, which is pretty damn sick for, you know, you guys out there looking to, you know, extra link your opponent and make those big, impressive Link boards. But even I think the Synchro Spam variant has some very neat incidental synergies with Dimension Dice specifically retaining to, you know, its kind of deep draw playstyle via cards like TG Hyper Librarian, Formula Synchron, or even, you know, stuff like Stardust Charge Warrior. You are trying to draw even more cards because most of your extenders also aren't hard once per turn or limited in some way by a once per turn clause. Um, so, you know, having an additional set of those in Dimension Dice is also pretty neat to climb into big Synchro bosses like Shooting Quasar Dragon or even, you know, Cosmic Laser Dragon, Baron the Floor, Savage Dragon or Crystal Wing. You do have a lot of options here, which I think is the beauty of Moftronics in this current day and age. Um, there's a lot of options, not only for, you know, extenders and consistency pieces you can play, but also for builds. There is a lot of, like, extra decks you can basically slap onto, like, 90% of Moftronic builds and it will just work, which is great. Um, part of the reason why I do love this deck so much and I think a lot of you people would agree with that. But with that out of the way, let me know your thoughts on those new dice cards down in the comments below. And if you have already, you know, done some testing with those, I'd be, you know, glad to hear those, especially because I think those are very interesting and offer some very unique aspects for two of the, like, I guess, more popular builds from Moftronics. But... 
with that out of the way, I'll thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys again next time. But until then, goodbye.